The president of Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, LCCI, Mr. Babatunde Runshewe, has said Nigeria needs clean and renewable energy in order to break its dependence on fossil energy fuels. Runshewe, who was speaking at the Lagos International Trade Fair, also stated that the revolution, especially in the transportation sector, would enhance Nigeria's energy security, promote enduring economic growth, and tackle environmental challenges. The LCCI president said Nigeria is endowed with tremendous prospects of growth in renewable technologies. Among the fair exhibitors, he commended innovation of youth entrepreneurship of motorcycle transit startup Metro Africa Express for introducing the battery-powered motorcycle. He said, indeed, Nigeria is ready for renewable energy. The problem that you have with such uh, technology is a universal thing, is the battery. The battery is the most expensive thing, and which is a universal problem. And the whole world is trying to solve that problem. So we shouldn't shy away from it. We have a lot of gap within supply and demand. So even if today we have affordable and competitive uh, mode of alternative uh, power, the, the market is very large. It's very, that's the beauty of our, our country. And that's why I tell people, the no great country is a small country. The population is what we can tap into. And with this young man, what they have done today, we might get there. There is a young Nigerian who has developed a way of uh, reducing the cost of battery. One, uh, one uh, professor in one uh, university in Europe is an award winner of NLNG. If you check their website, you will see the name. So we are ready for it. We shouldn't wait behind. The world is not going to wait for anybody. With tech hubs now dotting the landscape in the country, it's no surprise that new ideas in renewable energy has found a place in the transport sector. Africa is, as a whole is ready for, for all kinds of innovation, right? From renewable energy to innovations in biotech, right? To innovations in, in power, in mobility, uh, even in healthcare. Nigeria is ready for everything. It's, um, all, it's, uh, it's only a question of, um, you know, are we ready to embrace it, right? But in terms of, are we ready for it? We're absolutely ready for it. We have the need for it already. Uh, issues like climate change, for example, like affect every single one of us. What we're doing is um, we're providing all the infrastructure that will allow existing Okada and Keke drivers to move away gradually from uh, petrol engines to electric motorcycles and electric Okadas uh, and, and electric uh, Kekes. And we're doing that not just because of the climate, but we're doing that in a way that ensures that these drivers continue to also make money. Right, and that they can get their vehicles to perform at the same performance level as you will have with uh, a, a petrol uh, um, vehicle. In fast tracking the paradigm shift from fossil fuel driven economy to renewable energy, both Mr. Babatunde Runshawe and Mr. Adeta Abamiduru noted that there should be institutional collaboration and government support in promoting research and innovation aimed at diversifying the transport and energy sectors.